Oh yeah, lads. Today is not going to be a full stream. I've got to prepare my decks for the CGB battle. The format is basically this. So we're going to play Alchemy, best of one. Historic, best of one. Alchemy, best of three. And Historic, best of three. So we'll have three Alchemy, best of one decks. Three Historic, best of one decks. And we will play a game versus each other with all six of those decks. Play each deck once. In any order that we want. And then we'll have one Alchemy best of three deck. And one Historic best of three deck. What time is the match? The time is 5pm uh, my time. On Saturday. 6pm EU I believe it is, yeah. I believe it is 12pm EST. 9 a.m. whatever the other American time zone is. Okay, so... What should we be doing then? What's CGB's favourite card in, a, in Arena? What is his, what is his single favourite card? Is it Yorian? Okay, let's beat him, let's beat him with a Yorian deck. Alright. Yorion. Let's uh, start with this card. El Capitan. Soul Herder, is that what it's called? Dude, I don't even have this card crafted, man. Soul Herder, Ephemera, Capitano. Company? Isn't there another three mana mythic? Uh, mythic. Another three mana. I thought there was another mimic card. Mirror image. Okay, this this works with soul herder, right? Like if you if you bounce it, you can make it change into something else. Okay, give me that, please. Give me Apparition. Neoform? Why Neoform? I mean, you can't play Neoform, can you? We, we, we don't have any three mana cards that we want to sack. Nasif plays it with Wall of Blossom. Bruv, I don't care, man. Gab is very good at playing Magic, but he hasn't built a functional deck since 1997, bruv. Give him a deck to play, he'll play it better than you. Ask him to build you a deck, he'll build it worse than you. That's just the reality of the situation. What? Shots fired? It's not shots fired, man. Playing the game. Playing a game of magic and building a magic deck are two entirely different skill sets, man. It's like... They have absolutely nothing to do with each other. It's almost impossibly unlikely impossibly unlikely that you're going to be as good at one as you are at the other. They're two completely different things. They're absolutely unrelated. Okay, so basically you need every or at least close to every creature in your deck to be good blink target, huh? Alright, so how, how the hell do you do this deck? How, how many... Uh, did I haven't made a Yorian deck in so long. How many lands are, are in a Yorian deck? I can't even remember. This seems like too many, right? So I guess the question is how many how many times do you want to play Mimic as a creature rather than playing it as a land? <clears throat> kind of all the time, but also you want to not flood. Let's go 30 and 4, sounds kind of reasonable. But if you're going to play Neoform, you've, you've got to be willing to sacrifice your 3 mana creatures. But I, I I don't want to sacrifice mine. I mean, it might still be worth it though, right? Like, I mean, you still get a captain out of the deal, but still. I guess even using it on a two-mana one and being able to find a soul herder or an apparition is pretty cool. Okay, I mean, you gotta try it, right? I guess my main question about this deck is... Are there any... Are there any one-mana creatures that belong in the deck? I mean, I don't hate Bodyguard. Bodyguard's pretty cool. Oh, there's the there's the new Wolf, huh? Like Pup. 
Poppers has to be good. Okay, where is... Give me some of that, please. Give me some of that one. Okay, we definitely want all the collectors. Best card in the game, by the way. Innkeeper, I guess. It might just have to be Innkeeper, yeah. <clears throat> At least Innkeeper ramps you to four, huh? Exile a creature from your hand. Search your hand in library for any number of cards of the chosen name. Exile them and shuffle. Choose a creature card you own from outside the game. Conjure a duplicate of that card into your hand for each card exiled from your hand this way. Well, so you play one captain sideboard in this? I don't know, guys. <clears throat> it's just kind of a non-bow, though. Like, it's kind of a combo, but it's also kind of a non -bow. At some point, you won't have your 20 creatures, right? I mean, you gotta try it, that's for sure. Alright, so then, then you need to put, like, some cards in your sideboard, huh? Captain? Alright, chat. Time to invoke the power of the Dream Trawler. Dream Trawler. Coma. Giant Killer. Cathar. But I need a, I need a graveyard guy, though. A graveyard guy and Bant. Gotta be Cleric, surely. Giant Killer and Cathar. You don't need both of those. Dream Trawler and Coma, you don't need both. Dream Trawler or Coma. Very interesting. Which one? Because now we have... Well, Cathar can hit every creature. Cleric can hit the whole graveyard. I think I'll take a Trawler. Thassa? Yeah, I mean, Thassa's cool, but... We, we don't really have... We don't have a space, like... Thassa is just more of the same of our own deck, right? What, what, like, what can you cut here? These, these are all doing very specific things. You would have to, you would have to lose one of them to... I mean, maybe you can cut your Sharn. Like, your Sharn is kind of trash, but... I'll try without your Sharn. I mean, I, I really do hate your Sharn. I think it is shit. Cut one card and do mana. I guess you can go three... Let's go three mana image. Because that is the most difficult card in the deck to use. I like our sideboard creatures. I think they're pretty good. Okay, let's... Now let's try and cast our spells. But how many sources of each color do I need that? 14 times 1.33 is 18 and a half ish. 18 and a half ish. 18, 18, 17. 18, 18, 17. Okay, I can do that. 18, 18, 17. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 18, 18, 17, 10. 2, 6, 10. 2, 4, 8, 10, 10, 8. 18, 18, 17, 10, 10, 8. Streamer's going mad. I I'm not going mad. So, let me uh, say what I'm saying. So we need 18 green. We need 18 white. At least. We'll happily play more if that's possible. 18 green, 18 white, 17 blue. And we currently have 10 white, 10 green, 8 blue. So we need 8, 8, 9. 8, 8, 9. And we have 18 lands left. That's incredibly possible. Do we play Fabled Passage? Probably, right? Four Mimics too? Yeah, but I really want to play the Mimic as Creature, man. I don't think we think we should account for that. But the, the four Mimics here are worth uh, two blue. So we need eight, eight, seven. I mean, Pathways are just good, aren't they? Like, you just, you just play the Pathways and don't be a dumbass. And now you just have way more sources than, of all colors than you would ever need. I would like a manland of what variety? Blue would be nice, but blue needs a lot of mana to activate, which concerns me. If we're going to play a manland, I mean, it has to be green then, right? Because we can't play blue and it needs to be of the neoform colors. So it's got to be layer. So when you're playing best of one, you get to see your sideboard while playing, right? Wait, what am I playing here? Historic, best of one, ranked. Go. So the only tapped lands in our deck are the two Fabled Passage out of 80 cards. It should be fine. But shouldn't there be... Wait. 
shouldn't there be an actual Yor like Yorian in the sideboard? Shouldn't you have a Yorian companion and another Yorian? Isn't Yorian better than Thassa? Why, why wouldn't you have another Yorian? You should definitely have more Yorians, right? Starting with two tap lands, Kek W. Oh yeah, Temple Temple Garden. The really you know what was what sick tap land. Can, are, are you even able to do that? Can you play companion Yorian and another sideboard Yorian? Is that a thing? I, I don't see why it wouldn't be a thing, but it's just a bit weird. Oh wait, you can just take your in anyway? What the fuck? <laughs> That's kinda cool. <clears throat> okay, blue-black. <clears throat> Am I crazy or can blue-black actually not remove a Thassa? It can only bounce, right? Okay, counter guys, yeah, nice. Thanks for uh, taking part in the question and, uh, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> A very cool way. <clears throat> Let, let's, let's not try and learn anything about interactions and their opponent's deck. Let's, let's just try and win the conversation. <clears throat> Boggies. <laughs> Alright, chat. Do we have a sensor gamer on the list? No, we didn't. Okay, GG's. GG's, I regret it all. <clears throat> Okay, so they kind of have, I mean, if they don't board wipe, they're taking seven. And if they do board wipe, they get Capitanoed. Seems good. Seems like a solid spot to be in. If board wipe and still take four. Imagine. That wouldn't be me, chat. You wouldn't catch me dead casting a board wipe and taking four anyway. I would like to exile Innkeeper. 
or <clears throat> Oof. Yorin or Thassa? Yorin or Thassa? The this huntmaster is broken. <laughs> this huntmaster is broken. <clears throat> I like, I don't need to play more than one game to know it. Asa resolves. I mean, yeah. Asa resolves. <clears throat> Did he just say, I wonder if you'll breathe? That's a little... That's a little spooky. <clears throat> I'll get rid of all four apparitions against the Gandalf deck, please. And I'll fill my deck with... You know what? <clears throat> it seems like a good idea to just top deck a Dream Trawler every turn. What do you think? Top deck? Okay, well, one will go into hand and three goes to the deck. Three three go into the deck, did they not? No. Oh, okay. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> I mean, yes, you gotta try for Thassa again, right? <clears throat> I decline the offer, thank you, wizards. <clears throat> Why would you discard the rest? Well, the... I mean, the apparitions are gonna be dead cards anyway, right? I think it's okay to get rid of the apparitions. I don't want to be top deck an apparition anytime soon. Bow to the holy winds. So I can fetch Yorian and exchange it for like a captain or a dream trawler. <clears throat> so this is like dumb. Because Yorian is obviously not good here, so we don't need it. <clears throat> Cathar is interesting, though. Cathar is interesting. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's take a Cathar. <clears throat> Cathar Thassa, like try and get rid of some of these tokens. <clears throat> this is a situation where Deputy seems nice, yeah. Once again, your existence is pointless. A bit rude. What was that? Wait, they exiled Athasa? Wait, it does it does put copies in your deck, guys. I have more classes in my deck. How did I get another Athasa? Huh? A conjured one before. Okay, but so what did they just exile by attacking with the nightmare there? Didn't they exile... Oh, was that a captain and a pup? <clears throat> That's a little confusing, man. This is this is gonna take some getting used to. <clears throat> Alright, let's try again. Okay, now now I know actually how Huntmaster works. Let's go again. I was just confused as to how the second Thassa got in there, but I forgot I'd actually made two. One, two. Pretty good in the one, one meta. This needs to be a planes. <clears throat> this also needs to be white. <clears throat> Three three apparition, baby. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Good card. Okay, <clears throat> I'll take uh, some innkeepers, please. <clears throat> 
So I could swap both of these soul herders. Maybe just for two Knight of Autumns, man. Three mana, two, one, gain four. I mean, we don't want to do that, like, if, if I top deck a blue, I'll just play the Soul Herders, but if I don't get a blue land... <clears throat> I mean, you kind of want to take some Capitanos, but at the same time, you also just want to, you know, accept the life that you're actually living, which is the one where you're playing against Mono Red Aggro and maybe try and not die. <clears throat> So I can block like here and then but then if I draw a blue like if if I block like this and I draw a blue I can flicker this apparition and they don't even get a token. But in which case I should block like this, right? So now if we draw a blue soul herder's good, and if we don't we can just get rid of them. Uh, this has Trample and Vigilance, okay. Well, I'm going to attack with that 3-3 next time. <clears throat> That's something I'm going to try and do. I am not going to attack with that 3-3. That's not something I'm going to do. Dude, this deck requires some thinking, man. Holy shit. It does a little bit. I mean, yeah, you gotta... You gotta use your brain. Like, do we want to hunt master for a Cathar? <clears throat> Clear the token away. I think so. <clears throat> Could get Knight of Autumn too, yeah, but Thar just seems so sick. <clears throat> I, I want to leave the other Soul Herders in the deck, please. I mean, the deck is fun, guys. I will say that. The deck is fun. <clears throat> Why not bounce Apparition? Uh, because then they get a creature for no reason? Why don't we just make it so that the opponent doesn't have any creatures?
So then we can just flicker the Huntmaster, and now now that we have six lands, we can just get rid of all of the pups and change them all for like, or change one of them into I don't know. How about a Dream Trawler? Huntmaster is absolutely broken, that It's so stupid. <laughs> I mean, this is an interesting hand. <clears throat> so, crossroads for white. Get a scry. Layer for green, pathway for blue. I mean, we don't actually have anything too good to ephemer it right now, but you're definitely topping it, right? <clears throat> You'd flicker Skyclave while a creature is under it, wouldn't it? Just come back and remove the token. Uh, Skyclave cannot remove tokens, that's why we have the... That's why we've got the Cathar in the sideboard. The Cathar can get rid of those tokens. This Nev? <clears throat> Nev the gamer? Alert. <clears throat> I mean, they have something, dude. What are they playing? Fucking swords to plowshares or something? But don't make me. What? Feather? Like some sort of feather deck? Okay, you can have your card, mate. That's fine. Feather Pile. In the current year that I hate fe Feather is my most hated deck of all time. I absolutely fucking hate Feather. <clears throat> The amount of hours on this stream that I've spent whining that Feather's dumb dis card design is, I mean, it's a high number. <clears throat> I, I fucking hate Feather. A nice, nice haste, bro. <clears throat> cool haste, bro. <clears throat> okay, I will Neoform Soul Herder. Or an El Capitano, and I will ephemera it like three times. <clears throat> I'll take a Huntmaster, I'll get rid of my Prince. Although, did maybe you keep the prince, man? <clears throat> Ooh, like prince is okay. Prince is okay. Do not get debated by the prince, though. It's it's nothing special. Don't get debated by its okayness. <clears throat> like it could be a Thassa. It could be a Yorian. It could be a Yorian. Could be a Yorian. That's a Yorian. That's a Yorian. I will leave the other ones in the deck though. Because <clears throat> they are still good. But it, it's it's gonna be a Yorian. I'll take one Yorian, please. I'll save my treasures for next turn for the Yorian. I pass. <clears throat> Mm. 
Now all we have to do is uh, not be dead on this turn. That's hopefully something we can do. <clears throat> I'd also quite like to, I guess, top deck land is the best card for us, because then we can play Yorian and our second Ephemerate next turn. But there's not going to be a better, like, non-land in the deck than a land that lets us cast an Ephemerate. What did they do? Is this just a fight? No, tell I did Oh my god. Jesus Christ. The, the, my bu the buttons went off the screen. I thought I'd clicked resolve all. Counter and fight. <clears throat> okay, fine, you fucker. I'll use my treasure. My treasure, dude. <clears throat> Oh wait, I get a treasure. No, I don't get a treasure. I don't, why would I get a treasure? What the hell am I talking about? I bounce the captain, not the innkeeper. I'll take a mirror image, please. I'll go again. Run it back, baby! <clears throat> I'll take a pup. Sure. Whatever. It's good enough. <clears throat> I'll give my soul herder trample if we don't draw land. Soul herder having trample seems pretty good. <clears throat> I'll run it back. <clears throat> I'll run it back. I'll run it back. I think I'll probably run it back. I'll go for a soul hair to this thing. <clears throat> and I'll begin to run it back. But I have to bounce bounce the copies, right? I, I don't really I, I've never really played with copy cards before. I don't actually understand how they work. So am I able to just bounce any of these captains that I want, or do I have to bounce like do I have to leave the real one and play? It doesn't matter? Okay. That's fine then. <clears throat> <clears throat> you know what? Let's go again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of broken. It's a little bit broken, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Two lands, but we do have an uh <clears throat> do have an innkeeper. We're on the draw. I keep I keep these. Oh no. Oh no, it's a matter that it's the most obvious matter of all time. I, they could be playing the combo deck though. <clears throat> I mean, to be honest with you, the squirrel combo, like Heliod shit, is probably still just better than this. 
<clears throat> but definitely less fun. <clears throat> Should I, do I have to ephemerate my innkeeper here to get to Coco? Probably. Otherwise I'm relying on top deck and I'll land or I lose the game, which seems a bit dumb. I cast Strike at Rich. No blue cards at the moment, but we're we're gonna take a blue here. <laughs> Untap, save a treasure. Coco up in this bish. That is honestly fine. So we can make a treasure or we can scry. Hmm. We've already gonna we're already gonna have two treasure. <clears throat> I think I'll take a scry man. But, I mean, that could be another apparition. But I think it's probably two bottom. We've already got, what, like two apparitions here? Really, you have to bottom both of those? I think so, yeah. <clears throat> That's a legendary creature, my friend. The absolute frickin' nutter. <clears throat> two mana scry two, baby. Four mana scry four, baby. <clears throat> Okay, well, given that they killed two of their own Trellisaras, our apparitions are beginning to look quite good. What do I want to pop? <laughs> Do I want to pup the apparition or the prince or hold the pup? <clears throat> I mean, honestly, we could maybe hold the pup for a like possible hunt master. I don't really care about attacking with either of these creatures. How does Prince Bounce Prince work? If I bounce the Prince and then bounce the Apparition, does that mean the Apparition comes down at the end of the opponent's turn? 
Return it to battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so I, pro I should probably just bounce this apparition and not be a dumbass then. <clears throat> we don't want to give them, like, multiple triggers on a possible, uh, like, 2-2 or whatever. <clears throat> Eliod. Well, I would quite like to bounce my apparition again. Possibly. Please. <clears throat> Blue. Blue? Okay. No wombo combo, please, opponent. <clears throat> Pass the turn, huh? Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Neoform also quite cool there, by the way. Quite cool there. Not gonna lie. I could actually sack one of my two drops, huh? And guarantee to get to just pull an apparition out. Pretty nutty. Blue, green, white, prince, white, apparition, draw one land. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I would like to draw one land over the course of the following three turns, please. That is not a land. Tell you what, chat, we're taking we're taking a big scry here. Oh. Okay, so we got our land. Do we also want a hunt master? <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, there's actually no creatures even in my hand that I want to get rid of right now. So that this is actually a bad time for the hunt master. Wait, I'm gonna. I've only got these two creatures and I'm going to use them both. <clears throat> so I'd have to draw the Huntmaster and then draw a creature I want to get rid of. Seems a bit dumb. Rather. Okay, chat. Okay. <sighs> These are some good cards. These are some good cards. <clears throat> Oh my god, that the innkeeper like treasure is just insane. What the fuck? <clears throat> Wait. 
Well, yeah. See you later, kid. <clears throat> See you later, kiddo. Apparition in this deck just seems too broken. Yeah, and we've also, we're playing best of one. With Brutal Cathar in our sideboard, which we can actually fetch every game. Smile. <laughs> Digital mechanics, baby. Oh my god, this hand is like... Almost insane, but we have no white mana. I'm all. I... Keep. I bought him. <clears throat> Vigilance Trample Innkeeper. Coming through. Ooh. Okay, this is a spooky deck. <clears throat> this is a spooky deck. But I think you should play, there should be one Yorian main deck to Neoform a 4-drop into. One Yorian? I mean, you don't really want to draw it to your hand, but you are playing an 80-card deck. <clears throat> and there will be some occasions where drawing it to your hand is pretty good, right? Of course. This Tower the Goose meat hook. Kind of an early meat hook, if so. Any Yusharn sideboard? No, I mean, I had Yusharn in the sideboard and I swapped it for Thassa. I'm going to see if we can play this match up without Yusharn, because I mean, I, I've, I just think Yusharn is trash. We have, we have Knight of Autumn, which is a nice one. For here. And Thassa is good, right? Like their their deck can't remove a Thassa. Hopefully, hopefully Thassa and Knight of Autumn is enough. I just I think the pig is just trash, man. I hate it. <clears throat> if we have to play it, we have to play it. But let's find out. We go again. You know what? We go again. <clears throat> Good turn three. Solid turn three. <clears throat> Very solid. <clears throat> I mean, the Neoform on this captain would, like, fetch the Yorian. It would be insane. It would be insane. I don't know... I don't know what we would cut to get this one Yorian main, but probably something, right? So, is Mimic... is this a 3 mana... does Neofarm think this is a 3 mana card or a 4 mana card? It's 4, right? So I'd have to sack my Apparition to get another Captain. It's a little lame.
Not something I really want to do, I don't think. Let's actually get our soul herder to four here. So it's out of range of another meat hook next turn. <clears throat> and we have mana for captain next turn too. We go again! <clears throat> Treasures win games. <clears throat> Ready? <clears throat> oh my god, deadly dispute into the meat hook for four! <clears throat> okay, not something I considered. I thought my soul herder was going to survive, <clears throat> but that's okay. You know what we could do next turn, chat? How about we just go again? Wait, they don't even have an. They don't have meat hook number two? Oh, I well, guess you're dead then. <clears throat> guess you're dead then. But imagine the the you, you need a we need a one of Yorian in the main Neoform here fetch Yorian. Ecuador. Ecuador.